Hey everyone, it's Felicia Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be telling you about the key things that you want to look for in a master's of psychology program if you are desiring licensure after graduation. So, you can become a therapist at the master's level with a master's degree in psychology that has an emphasis on clinical counseling once again you want to ensure that you are in a program that has a clinical emphasis on it in order to be able to be eligible for licensure how do you find that out make sure that you ask <laughs> admissions counselors does this program prepare me for licensure at the master's level. The second thing to look for is if it if they say, yes, this program is going to align you for licensure at the master's level with the master's in psychology, do you have an internship in your program? Because the board is going to want you to have completed at least 600 hours in most states did you hear that make sure that your program has an internship of how many at least 600 hours when i was going through my master's program from 2015 to 2018 I was preparing for licensure in the state that I was stationed in at the time, which was Texas. Texas, you had to complete a master's program that had a, an emphasis on counseling and it had to have an internship of at least 600 hours. Now, when I got PCS to Georgia, if you're not, not familiar with the military, that means a permanent change of station to Georgia, Georgia also aligned with Texas requirements because each state has their own licensure board. So you want to ensure that you ask, does this school align with the state's requirements for licensure at the master's level? Okay, and don't be afraid to ask that because honestly, they should have, if you're communicating, the school should, you know, they should be very upfront about that. And if they are not upfront, then it usually means that they're not really preparing you for licensure and you might want to dip out on them. Okay, now with your internship, you're going to want to ensure that you are interning at a site that gives you a good amount of experience. Now, interning and all of that will be, you know, it depends on what program you're in. But most programs, even when it comes to interning, they will have a database of um businesses or you know like offices you know therapy offices or hospitals or things that they have partnered with before that previous students have been able to use this site as their internship site so you normally don't have to go it like completely alone but it is your responsibility when you are looking at programs to ensure that like all these things are in the boats. <laughs> yes, because let me tell you, I was looking at a school before and they had no internship and I am very glad that I did my due diligence and I knew that I needed an internship, okay? So you wanna make sure that the program is a program that is good and preparing you for licensure. You want to ensure that the program has an internship that is also preparing you for licensure. And you want to ensure that you have the funding and 
how long is this program going to take it? Am I going to be able to have all the funding that is needed to complete this program? Because typically, um, not a lot of master's uh, programs are going to be having um, assistantships and things like that right out the gate to um, make your program free or a little less expensive. They, they are out there, um, but I am just not as familiar with those, so I'm sorry. But do not fret. It's a great return on investment. So now after you complete a program that has an internship in it <laughs> and you graduate, um, you start preparing yourself to take the national counselor exam, the NCE. Once you take that exam and you pass, you are able to apply to be an it depends on where you are in the world. But I would just say, when I say where I mean the USA, because um, I don't think outside, I, I don't know how it works when you, you know, go overseas and you're trying to become licensed. Um, I really know how it is in the United States of America. So once you take the, take the exam and you pass in Georgia, you would apply to be what is called a licensed associate professional counselor. So that A, out in Texas, it is um, a licensed professional counselor dash I for intern. I mean, you have to complete so many hours before you're able to apply to you know, drop that A or that I or wherever you're at and just be a licensed professional counselor. When you're deciding that, hey, I want to be a therapist, know that this is just not some, you go to, you go to, you know, go to grad school, you graduate, you're just done. When you want to be a licensed professional counselor, it is a stepping stone. And remember that that's, it's important and it's totally okay. You know, fall in love with the process, fall in love with growing into a therapist okay it takes time it takes practice and it takes commitment to your goals but i believe in you and we can do this together you know what i mean so these things one ensuring that this program is aligning me for licensure at the master's level, which usually includes a ma it's master's of clinical psychology or a master's of psychology with an emphasis on clinical counseling, or usually you see clinical or counseling somewhere in there, okay? Number two, ensuring that your program has an internship of at least 600 hours. Number three, prepare yourself to take the national counselor exam. And number four, falling in love with the process of becoming a therapist. Ensuring that you know that this is just not some boom, it's overnight. <laughs> I didn't took, you know, I can finish this master's in a year, hun. No. No. And that's okay. It's all about falling in love with the process, falling in love with the journey. That is what is most important in life. Because the finish line is going to be the finish line. But the in-between is where you're at for so long. Fall in love with that. So I hope that you found these tips helpful. Um, if you did, be sure to thumbs up. If you are currently a licensed professional counselor and you have any tips or anything, drop it in the comments. If you're interested in becoming a licensed professional counselor, drop it in the comments. Let me know. I'm rooting for you. Share this video with someone that you think it could help. And yeah. Thank you so much for sticking around for the entire video. I love you all so much. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.